Good morning YouTube. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Presto MyJo coffee maker which sells online or in stores for somewhere around $20 to $25. We go camping and some of the places that we go don't have electricity. So this item is a good idea for what you can use to brew your coffee if you like K-cups. It's got uh, the water reservoir holds says up to 10 max, which is the large setting on my Keurig. It's got a real soft rubber piece, bottom unscrews. If you prefer, you have this. You can put your own grounds in there. Seems like a really good quality item. We'll show you how it works. Before we start, I want to let you know I did have one problem with it when I first got it. If you look inside, right in there, there's a little rubber diaphragm with a slit cut in it. Uh, that slit wasn't cut all the way through, so no matter how hard I pushed on it, it wouldn't push the water through the K-cup. Um, so all I did was get a toothpick, just easily push through and make sure that it went all the way through and then there was no more problems. Alright, so in my situation, I'm going to be boiling the water on a propane stove in my travel trailer. So put the water in already, put the cover on, on the base. The K cup fits in there, just push it to pierce the bottom. Screw it on. I like to hold the cup and the base. Just put easy pressure through a little bit. I do it a little bit just to get the grounds wet. And I'll give it a couple minutes, or not even that long, 30 seconds. And then you just put your hand on top and push down slow. Can you hear it coming through? Let it back up. And just keep doing it until you run out of water. It'll sound just like the Keurig when it's done and it sounds like it's blowing air through. That's it. Got a nice Keurig cup of coffee and you didn't need electricity. Cleanup is just as easy. Just open it up. Pull out the cake up. And that's it. I'd appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe. I do other reviews. Thanks for watching.